Here I'm going to show you how to create a Wix website, so follow along with me as I go through this step-by-step -step tutorial. Let's begin. So first things first, once you have your account, what you want to do is go to all sites here. And once you hover over that, you can either go to all sites, which is where I am now, and simply click on the create new site button here or here. I'm going to go with this one right here to create a new site. And this is going to be a section where you can bring your ideas to life with AI. You can do this, but depending on the specific website that you use, it might come out a little bit different. So I just want to follow through a process where you can go through and choose a template that you like and edit it from there. So feel free to start the chat. I'm just going to set it up without it in this example. And once again, we don't have to worry too much about the type of website that you want to create. We can always choose our template after. So I'm going to click on skip right here on the bottom right. All right, so let's give it a name. I'm just going to say marketing island official. I assume you know the name of your website. Maybe it's going to be a brand. It could be your name. It could be about doing client work, service work, whatever it's going to be. Just type in your name right there and click on continue. And for this, if you have any goals, not a big deal. If you check this off, maybe you want to promote a business or sell products. That's just going to be the two main right here or maybe promote myself. Let's do continue. And last but not least, if you wanted to add any of these, you can. And don't worry if you don't do it now, you can always add them later, like online stores, booking events, blogs, and so on and so forth. I'm going to click on skip here. Like I said, we can always add them later if needed. And continue to dashboard. All right, so the main goal of this is to be able to pick a template that's going to be best suited to your needs. And from there, show you the basics of editing it so you can get up and running pretty quickly with your Wix website. With that in mind, let's click on design site on the top right right here. And once again, you can generate a design with AI. Feel free to play around with that as you like, but we're going to customize a template in this one. I think this is gonna be the best case scenario because with templates, you get so much of the work done for you where you really just kind of need to go in and change around some pictures, some images, some text, so on and so forth. Click on pick a template. All right, and here we have plenty of templates that we can choose from. So this is going to be a spot where maybe you want to type in your niche, your hobby, whatever it is you're going to be doing. As you can see, there's going to be plenty of little subtopics here that we can choose from if needed. Stores, creatives, communities, blogs, and so on and so forth. However, what I'm going to go down is just kind of pick one that I like, and then we can change it from there. Let's go to the next page. Okay, a few others. Like this one's not too bad. I like this one, it looks very clean. And despite like we might not be using it for this specifically, we can click on view. Okay. I love the basics of this, looks pretty great. Now obviously maybe you don't wanna use this one and that's fine, you can just simply click back to templates. But for me specifically, I'm gonna be doing say business and services. So I'm just gonna go this and click on advertising and marketing. If you're not doing advertising and marketing, don't worry, it's not a big deal. You can always pick your template and still follow along with me in terms of editing it around. All right, and I went back because I think this one really caught my eye right here. I'm gonna view this just for a marketing agency, of course. All right, so I love the simplicity of this. If you'll notice it, we say have just the name of the brand. We have some links here about the important pages. And there's just one thing right here. We're going to be showing off our work, which is you know, not bad. If you want to create a portfolio, that's going to be great for that. Uh, but let's try this one. Let's go with edit this site. All right, and so the first thing it's going to ask for is being able to enhance your AI content. You can do this if you want, but you probably know you and your website and what you're going to be talking about the best. So feel free to do that if you want. I'm just going to kind of start from scratch just to show you what you want to focus on editing. So once again, you can get your Wix website up and running pretty quickly. Okay. All right. So here we are. And if you look at it right now, you're like, it's pretty small. It's completely fine. What we can do is just click on this 50 right here to zoom in a little bit more. Now, if you'll notice, if we hover over each section, we can go with like quick edit. And if when you do hover over, it kind of highlights it. You'll notice that big green section gets highlighted. This is going to be the footer. So we have the main section. We have our footer and our top. Let's start with the top. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you can see it. So I'm hovering over this and clicking on quick edit. All right, so we have our paragraph and then we have our paragraph under it. You'll notice when we hover over it, we can see what it looks like, right? So I can click right here. And what I can just do is just change this around like M. Um, that's going to be there. And then we can do marketing island. Perfect. Okay. Then under this, we have, you know, marketing and branding. Let's just say, you know, that's going to stay the same. Obviously, you can change that around. If you want more design options, you can go to the text settings, of course. Now we have our horizontal menu. If we want to manage this, we can click right here on manage menu. 
Also, if we wanted to get there from a different way, we just simply go right here and then go to site menu. So we have home, we have about us, we have portfolio, we have services, we have blog, and we have contact us. So, so let's just say that the main goal of this website is to show off our work and have someone contact us. So let's just say we don't need a blog, we can always remove that. I believe I'm gonna do another tutorial separate based upon blog posts and creating them and so on and so forth. So uh, stick around for that. I'm most likely gonna do that separate because that's gonna take a good amount of time, okay? Once again, the basics here. So let's just say we wanted to delete this. I am gonna click on delete and we can do delete, that's fine. So now we have about us, we have portfolio, we have services and contact us. What we can also do is click on either of these just to kind of showcase what they look like. And if we go right here, you'll now see what this looks like. Pretty cool, right? So once again, we can go back over to this section here and let's go back to our home. Let's do 50%. You'll notice we have some text here we wanna change around. So let's click on the pencil, quick edit. And it says, we do, probably wanna change that around. What we do. Okay, and it says our strategic planning. Let's just see, how about like our portfolio? Okay, explore our projects or like, Let's click on there once again, see our work, okay? In vector art, that's gonna look fine there. Okay, and also something that you can do, there's always gonna be the undo button if you do something and you don't like it, but as an example, I'm just gonna click on save right here. Okay, save and continue. I'm just gonna click on done. And I just wanna preview it so you can see what it looks like. Let's click on preview. And something else you might not have noticed is that this is more of like a presentation. So you can click here and you're also gonna see how it changes over after. So we're gonna have to change around that text. That's why it's always a good thing to kind of preview and see what it looks like. Like that's a little bit too big so we can make it smaller. Okay, but if we go here, we do see our work. And there we go, what we've done, we can edit that around as well. So let's go back, back to editor right here. And once again, we wanna go to the home page. So let's go to pages and menu and do home right here. Great. And once again, let's go to quick edit. All right, so we have our section right here that we already edited. Then there's gonna be the strategy and results underneath. So what we wanna do is click on strategy. And now we're gonna have the same thing. We have our unique strategy. So I think that looks kind of fine, right? Then the last one's gonna be the results. So this one's a little bit longer. So like see our proven results. So you check out our, let's just see, results, something like that. Witness our impact, great. Okay, text settings in case we wanted to change that around. I'm gonna keep that like that. Once again, I'm gonna go back and save it. I'm just gonna preview it so you can see what it looks like. So here we go, we have our portfolio where you can click on see our work right there. Give it a second. We have our unique strategy, discover our success stories. And of course this one right here, witness our impact. So these are all gonna to go to the portfolio section here. If you check out the link, great. So let's go back once again. And once again, I'm just gonna go to the home page. Then again, this looks pretty decent. Like this is gonna be the footer in case you wanna add your links there. But now we wanna to go to say our portfolio. So here we have Marketing Island is proud to present a selection of our work. Click here to explore the projects we've completed and get a glimpse of what we can do for your business. So just as an example, I'm gonna go through and add some images here. I'm not gonna go through all of them because that could take a good amount of time. But what I wanna do is click right here. We can do manage media. You'll notice there's a lot of images here you're probably gonna wanna just go ahead and replace. So give me one moment, I'm just gonna save a couple. All right, so I'm just gonna use a couple thumbnails that I normally use for my um, YouTube thumbnails just to add some media here. So I'm gonna go to add media and image. And here what I can do is upload media. Upload from computer. And there's one of them right here, image.png. It's gonna be uploading the file. And great, what I wanna do is once it's highlighted, simply click on add to page. And you'll notice it's gonna be right there. Now what I can do is just kind of drag it up. We can move it to number one. Okay, so that's gonna be there. Now what we can also do is click on this one and do replace image. And I can do upload media. I'm gonna do another one. That's gonna be the other one. I can do add to page. Okay, and just like that, it replaced it specifically as opposing to like just having another one. Now, if there's some on here that you don't want, all you can do is just click on it and do the remove. I imagine there's a lot here that you like wouldn't need, right? These are all just kind of examples. But once we are done with that, we can click on done. And you'll notice now we have a nice little gallery with some of our actual images there, right? Obviously the other ones we can change around, but that's gonna be how you can change around your images. Let's save it very quickly once again. Get used to doing that and previewing it just to see what it looks like and click on preview. 
Okay, so it looks much better, obviously, now that it's more with our brand and what we have going on. If we wanted to click on any of these, you're going to notice it's going to be a much bigger example of it, and we can cycle through. So this is a great way of creating any type of portfolio section of results you've done. If this is for marketing and branding, whatever it may be, you can obviously showcase some case studies, some testimonials, and so on and so forth. So let's go back to editor, and let's just do, say, one more page. So we have services here. Let's go over on this side. We have services. And let's say we really wanted to change around this page, okay? So you know how to edit text, right? So if we click on this, and what I'm gonna do is just edit text right here, and this is how we change it around. So we can add anything that we like, okay? Adding text is pretty simple, right? All right, so if there was anything here you didn't want, maybe you wanted to remove some of these boxes, what you can do is just click on the specific box itself once, and I'm just gonna hit backspace on my computer, okay? And that's how we can delete that section. We can delete that as well. We have this right here, container box, we can delete. I'm just gonna do this a few times, say we don't wanna have all of these. And we just wanna replace this with something else. So this is going to get into the drag and drop aspects of it. This is gonna be beneficial because this is how you add your own ideas and things to your pages. Okay, so I'm gonna pretend this is just a completely different page. And what we can do, we have elements right here. This is gonna be like the meat and potatoes. So we have text, we have images, we have buttons, strips, decorative. There's a lot that you can add here. For example, let's go with video and music because this could be quite uh, beneficial or popular for you. We could drag and drop a YouTube video in right here and just let go. Doesn't matter where you put it in the beginning because what you can do after it'll showcase when it's centered, just like that. It'll have that purple vertical line, and if we want it a little bit bigger, we can go like that and just drag it in the center. Here we go, so this is talking about what we offer. You could even say, okay, click play down below to see what we offer, something like that. And of course, if we want to maybe center that so it looks a little better, move this up, that's gonna be up to you. Some other elements that we can add, of course, and maybe we wanted to make this a little bit bigger, what we can do is move it down even more. So now we have a lot more section to play with. Here are a few more elements that we can use as an example. Let's just say we have a button. We wanna add a call to action. So there's theme buttons, text and icons. There's plenty of them here. This is gonna be a way to say like, you know, send us an email or so on and so forth, but something like this this we can just say do this one looks good let's drag and drop it just like that we have a button and we can make it bigger too maybe not that big in fact I don't like that one too much I'm gonna hit backspace let's go back over there again and choose a different one just because it's harder to see we can change around the color and so on and so forth but let's just say we have this there we go something like that let's center it so we have that vertical line perfect what we can do is click on settings so choose what displays text only is going to be fine. We can use a text and icon. Uh, this is going to be the text right here. So it's, maybe it's going to be click here to reach out to us. Then what we can do is choose a link. We can also make that bigger after so it doesn't look so uh, squished in the middle. So what we can do, like none, we can go to a specific page. If you want to go to a web address, this is how you're going to be doing it. I also recommend doing a new window. Maybe we just want to send an email here. So what's the email address? Okay, so this is going to be, say, mine. And what's going to be the catchy email? So when they click on this, it's going to open up where they can send an email to this. And it's going to say, like, hey, I want to work with you. Dot, dot, dot. And okay. Great. And we can make that a little bit longer. There we go. Something like that. Page. What we can do is go back here and we can move this up a little bit higher. Maybe this, make it so it's centered in the middle, just like that. Now, if you wanted to change this, all you need to do is click on this and do change video. And what you can do is select the video that it's gonna be from. YouTube's gonna be the easiest. Just paste in the link right there and it's gonna show up. You can do autoplay, you can have it play in a loop, and you can even add a description if needed. So that's gonna be how you change your videos. So overall, I think you have a good idea of how to go about and create your Wix website. Let's go back to the homepage very quickly. So here we are with our homepage. Of course, we have our menu up top. We have this that's gonna be going through, giving the main goal here, which is to go to our work. And from there, they can reach out to us. We know how to change around our pages. We know how to add pages. We know how to add and delete text, images, videos, and so on and so forth. And of course, we know how to save and preview. Let's make sure we save again. And last but not least, here's gonna be how we can publish it. So let's click on publish. 
Great, let's just view the site very quickly. All right, so very quickly, Marketing Island, Marketing and Branding. Uh, did we do the About Us? We didn't do too much about that, but once again, this is gonna be similar to the uh, Contact Us or the service one that we changed. We have our portfolio. So it did show you how to add some images as well. So these are gonna be here. We can delete some of the other ones that we don't need. I think it was the services that we changed around, I believe. Yep, so we have our video here. We have this where they can reach out and send an email to us, which is great. And that's going to conclude this tutorial about how to create a Wix website. Hope you got some benefit out of this. And like I said, I wanted to make sure I focused on some of the most basic and important aspects of this. You can definitely go in and edit around and make your changes and tweaks based upon your brand, your niche, and what you need specifically out of your website. But I hope this should at least help you get up and running. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if I can't answer, someone else can always chime in. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this Wix tutorial, and I will see you in my next video.